Oh, Kai. <laughs> no, so I came across this interesting article, right? Which says, um, which says, it speaks about the church, Zondo. Zondo was Ramaphosa's last line of defense. Do you agree? In fact, I actually saw a, a, a picture somewhere uh, where at the, on Twitter where people were saying, uh, this is his last walk. <laughs> it's a chief justice, right? Uh, so I saw that, that, that thing, which this is his last walk. But on the other, other hand, people are, are very angry, saying that, you know, this celebrity judge. So do you remember him being named the celebrity judge? Well, we're gonna sp we will st we'll speak about that. On the very same uh, breath, I went us to talk about a, somebody got arrested, um, an official. Remember that there's this thing, there's this raid that is happening in prisons. Turns out that this uh, local, these people are, are the ones who are smuggling this, these drugs. Because remember the drugs that have been found. Guys, are speaking about drugs itself. Uh, hey, three topics in one video. Uh, something that I hardly do. Have you noticed? You know, somebody, somebody said this on Twitter and I was like, huh? You know, you know this person is making sense. This person says, have you noticed that ever since Peggy Taylor stepped down as a, as, a, as a minister of police, there's been a big bust in this big syndicates people who are look, going to drugs uh, you know what i'm saying ever since peggy Tele stepped down there's there's this thing man you know what i'm saying uh two million bust of a drug what what company in limpompo uh, you know what i'm saying after that like there's something that is happening today we also got the news of uh, these guys who were somewhere in Pumalanga. There was a military base, illegal military base in Pumalanga. You know what I'm saying? Pol That's in topic number four. You understand what I'm saying? Uh, today, there was such a breaking news about the military base in Pumalanga that uh, was doing, doing things in Pumalanga. So, it's quite interesting that... When the minister st steps down and somebody else comes back, or like somebody else steps in, you know what I'm saying? There's something that we're seeing happening, you know what I'm saying? It will be nice to, to read the stats one day and you are told uh, the, the crime stats in this country is drastically came down. It would be nice to read some local stats one day and uh, you are reading exactly that. That is going to be something interesting to see. But yeah, we are seeing something. We are seeing improvement. And uh, guys, I'm not the I'm not the person who always sit there criticize. When people are doing great, let's learn to appreciate them. Appreciate police the the work that they are currently doing. Appreciate them, guys. Spot on. Spot on, guys. Busting off the two mil two billion or two what? Not two million, two billion uh, company that is manufacturing drugs, guys. You know what I'm saying? The people are these people are busy, guys. Yo. But we are not busy enough. Oh, we are not busy to such an extent that you don't even have to do this. Never. If you are not yet subscribed, what are you waiting for? Come on, good people. Because to subscribe, it is free. To like the video, it is free. To comment in the comment section below, it is free of charge. To click the notification bell, it is free of charge. To share this video, it is free of charge. To watch this video until the end, it is free of charge. Also, good people, I mean, come on, to watch the ads, it's free of charge, and that's how you financially contribute to this YouTube channel. Speaking about financially contributing to the channel, you can join, become a member of this YouTube channel from as little as 20 rand a month. You can also uh, use the Super Thanks Party. In case you don't want to do that, guys, there is a way where you can use my media company banking details to donate to the channel. And you know what I'm saying? will bring you more and also guys want to buy more equipment so the power is in your hands please do the honorable thing as we proceed where do we start let's start with the, the local let's let's start with this issue as um, as in Pumalanga. um today guys we got the news that somewhere in Pumalanga, some other people they were busy doing some doing some shenanigans there um Yo, it's it's one of those sad stories to see, to even hear that somewhere in Pumalanga today we woke up with this news, yeah, guys. I'm just opening it. Uh, breaking news: 95 Libyan nationals taken into questioning after being found at a secret military camp in Pumalanga. Home Affairs officials 
are also on site as investigation continues to determine if the look if the other criminal activities are linked to the camp. Now, this is these people, guys. It has been said, Oguti, some of the criminal activities that was happening around Pumalanga, it was because of this group of people, right? They were, and, and it makes sense. You know, you can't receive a mil look um, a, look a very good uh, military training, and then you don't you don't you know what I'm saying. You, 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 it's like, guys, you know what I'm saying? These people who are busy, they was, they was, you know, these people who are busy gymming and f shaping their body, they tend to be, you know what I'm saying? You know? So you can't have a beautiful body, but, you know, they tend, some others tend to like walking naked just so we can see the body. It's a fact. Others, they want to have sleep with more people because they think, you know, they feel they, there's too much confidence. I'm just saying, when you give, when you put something, the output as well, you know what I'm saying? So you can't receive a military training. You It's like this concept of giving, 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 and then you don't exercise it. It was bound to happen that where you, where you get the training, you tend to, it was bound that you will have more crime. So good or kudos to the police. You know, they, uh, that, that, that's an incredible job. Um, that was, been, look, uh, that was, that was, look, it said that around the White River, people were, be, were, look, were suffering a lot of criminal activity that was happening there because of this military group. Right. Uh, that is what we actually got to see today. It was also posted by the South African Police Service. It says Pumalanga working together with the uh, proof joint structure, including the Department of Home Affairs, other role player like intelligence, have uncovered a suspected military training base in White River and apprehended 1990 local 95. Foreign, foreign nationals in connection with the discovery. The investigation is still going on and the further details will, pro will be provided because look, look, as they become available. The South African Police Service would like to assure the public that there is no immediate threat to community safe safety. That's what the, the, look, the South African Police Service said. But again, I, I don't look, the South African Police Service at the end of the day Available and they need to speak like this. Remember that Bona they represent uh, their biggest interest is to protect the country. So I don't, you know, I don't blame them for speaking this. Good to people, please feel safe. The South African Police Service that's their number one priority is to make people feel safe in this country. Which let's give like guys, like I said, like I was saying, when people are doing things the right way. Let's learn to appreciate people, not to say, ah, oh, but me now. Nah. I was once hijacked, you nah, guys. Um, I, I'm a victim of police, local police not doing their work. So I don't speak from a sense of, look, I, I, everything is fine by me. No. Uh, I, I was hijacked around Poison's Road, entering Job Exhibit, that road. The my case, I, look, I was hijacked there, and then I was dumped in Morocco Police Station, uh, next to Morocco Police Station. Uh, at around 10 p.m., I was hijacked at 6 and then the car was recovered at 11, but they stripped, they stripped the car off, right? So, uh, so quite a number of things that I have seen it with my own naked eyes. But despite what I have seen, it doesn't necessarily mean that, uh, it doesn't necessarily mean that we always have to be mean, we always have to be, you know what I'm saying? No, 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 no. There's no need for that. Speaking about that, correctional service um, have arrested, look, a correctional service official arrested for trying to allegedly smuggle dagger and cell phone into prison. Okay, let's get in here. National Commissioner of uh, Department of Correctional Service, Mahoti Samuel uh, Toba Hale, has welcomed the arrest of two official. Um, based at MLO Correctional Facility for attempting to smuggle DACA and mobile phone with accessories. The two were caught uh, during a surprise search as they reported on duty at 6 uh, 55 a.m. on Wednesday. 65 a.m. Okay. The South African Police Service, SAPS, uh, processed the two officials who, were, who are now facing criminal charges. Additional, Department of Correctional Service will initiate a disciplinary proceeding uh, in line with its policies and legal procedure. Meanwhile, uh, Tabaka commented on the Department of Correctional Service team, which has intercepted the 
uh, the contraband for their vigilance and their professionalism, and further emphasize on the um, and further emphasize on on what. Uh, what is this thing? A uh, commitment to enhance the security and the protocol during the, the search. That's what I wanted to tell you. Why I wanted to talk about this is, is because this is very important and I will show you why this is very important. But before I can prove to you the importance of this, uh, before I can prove to you the importance of this, um, before I can prove to you the importance of this, um, this, this article, what I want us to talk about is this one, where we we saw there's this search that happened, right? There was a search all over it. So uh, in this search, this is what happened. They found cell phones, smart TV, and everything. So I <laughs> saw so a comment that the minister, the new minister has done what Uronat Lamura couldn't do in a space of 10 years in the office. He couldn't achieve what this minister has achieved. Yo, this guy mm -mm, has, has turned these things upside down. Speaking about turning things upside down, let's talk about uh, Zondo. Uh, this video is specked here. Yeah? Let's talk about Judge Zondo. Now, Maya will take up the, the look, will will take up her position as a, a look on September the first, in other words, the first of September two thousand and twenty-four, replacing the politically conflicted Chief Justice Raymond Zondo, whose term ends on the thirty-first of August as a Chief Justice. There's one question that I have for you: Is um, when a Chief Justice retire, or when you are done being a Chief Justice, what does it mean? Is it like a president? that once you are done with your term, then it's over, uh, you go sit at home. What is it? Uh, I know that they get paid. That I'm not, I'm not, look, I'm not confused about it, but I'm just concerned about this thing. What do they do after that? The EFF has previously questioned the manner in which Zondo was uh, parachuted into the Chief Justice office. The EFF said, since Comrade, <laughs> listen to this one, since Comrade Zondo's ascendancy in the chief justice office the majority of south africans had lost confidence and and certainly that the judicial was led by a person who was beyond reach of the greasy and dirty hands of politicians oh my god first the manner of the appointment left much to be left, left much to be desired the Judicial Service Commission set and look set and interviewed four candidates, and after their uh, interference, the liberation recommended recommended that Justice Mandisamaya be uh, look, be appointed as a Chief Justice. Mr. Ramaphosa, without reason, decided to ignore that recommendation and appointed Comrade Zondo as Chief Justice. And the party said during a, a justice budget for. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying much. You see, this statement guys is self-explanatory, right? It's just self-explanatory. The EFF said the party, uh, the party, the only uh, look, uh, inference it can be thrown was that the appointment of Zondo was payback time for his uh, uh, subscri subscribability double in politics and hold a political fictional view on a range of issues. Zondo has apparently confessed to being married to the sister of Tobega Moloko Ma, Ma, Madiba, who is a former former president former uh, former president Jacob Zuma's wife, which makes Zuma Zondo's brother-in-law. <laughs> I didn't know that. Eh? But how ah, brother-in-law? How? Wait a minute. Former Zuma's wife, then how does you become a brother-in-law? Maybe I'm not vested there, but yeah, me and Jay, there's no relationship. You marry my wife, there's no relationship there. The relationship is that we are human beings. Uh, this thing of law, what, what, I, seven, la, la, I, there's no law, what, what, la, le, puma. 
the okay they the dangers are all there to see for everyone even while was still acting chief justice comrade zondo so it fit to enter into a public spot with politician on the role of the constitution and on the suspected capture of the judicial by politicians i quote that is by eff what's your take again so i'm gonna read another one but i think i need to read this one because he's going so i might as well do him a favor and read everything that the eff are saying right the EFF continued to say, let the country know that the NPA and the court will have done their part and let the executive deals with the pub public at that time. So I will not say that the look, I will not say that any trial must stop. I think we must continue doing what we are, what we look, what is right. The NPA believes that there is a strong case against him. That's why they are pursuing the church, the churches. The courts are there, look, are there ready to conduct a fair trial, assess, assess evidence, and if it they find that the, this this fellow is guilt, they will look into what the, what's the appropriate sentence and, uh, and and should be imposed in a sentence that look, you know what I'm saying. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> except the judge we, you know I'm reading this because I, I want you to think of it this uh, picture this thing right I even said it it looks like the the decisions will be made by the electoral court but will be changed uh, when it gets to the um, constitution uh, a constitu in, it's called what uh, it will be changed by the um, the constitutional court so <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I I I I the EFF continues to say the same comrade, Chief Justice, once boldly proclaimed that the election of Ramaphosa as a president of both the ANC and the country saved this country from collapse. Will he ever par look up? Uh, preside in a fair and impartial manner when he is required to make judgment on the conduct of Ramaphosa and those associated with him if he is on the new, if he's in the view that Ramaphosa is a, is a, is a godsend, ask the organization. I, I'm, re I'm asking these questions because uh, I want you to tell me what you think about what EFF is, what, look, is saying here. They are bringing everything right uh, in a letter addressed to chief justice zondo on the 22nd of february 2024 president ramaphosa informed the judicial service commission of intention to appoint deputy chief justice uh, uh maya as a chief justice of the republic upon the expiry day in the term of chief justice raymond zondo on the 31st of august 2024 okay i we know that we are we are okay with that but what we were not okay, okay of is judgment, look, judgment that were very much questionable. You know what I'm saying? We judgment that. Uh, <laughs> we are not happy about them. You know what I'm saying? We are not happy about them. There's certain judgment. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I am going to say, I'm going to say, I'm going to say, with that being said, um, now, do you think us losing U, U Pegitele was a blessing? I mean, consider the, 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 the look, the, consider everything that is happening. You know, I'm observing, I have not done a video yet, but I'm observing a lot of things that are happening. And I'm super impressed with how things are moving. You can see, man, good days. A, a new, 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 new broom, man, that sweeps better. You know what I'm saying? You can feel the excitement about it. I think I like, got used to everything, so he wasn't necessarily excited to do his job anymore. I don't know. I think he got used to everything. And even when you were listening to Tele, he sounded more political than being a minister of police. You know, we, we know, we know you're representing a, de a certain department, I mean, a certain political party, but you are in the police department. You should sound like a police. You know what I'm saying? Sound like, but Tele will sound more like a politician. 
you know, oh, when you listen to Nale Mloko Pando, she sounded like had what she was doing. When you listen to Arad Mtsole, Mtsole, he sounded like his work. He sounded like a minister of former. You, sometimes you'll even forget that as a member of ANC. That's what I was, uh, I'm saying. It was lacking. He sounded more like a politician than sounding like a, 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 a person who is in charge of a certain department, right? 